Welcome to another video from Guitar School Live. In this video, you'll learn how easy it is to control over Loud's THU with the Invave Chocolate MIDI controller. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to download the Cube Suite editor to your desktop from the Cubave website. Go to the link in the description and follow the download instructions. Installation is simple, so there is no need to cover it in this video. For our tutorial, we'll be using the Experience THU Bank. In this bank, Pedal A will go to preset 10. Pedal B will go to preset 26. Pedal C will go to preset 54. And Pedal D will activate the tuner. Pedal A will also toggle the Tube 9. Pedal B will toggle the Univibe. Pedal C will toggle the Amp. And Pedal D will toggle the Wah Pedal. Let's begin setting up the controller in the Cube Suite program. When you launch the Cube Suite program, you will be presented with this screen. To set up THU, check Advanced Custom Mode. Select Foot Switch A and check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. When you check this box, you'll see a second box appear that is labeled Bank B. Whatever you program in Bank A will be executed when you step on the pedal. Whatever you program in Bank B will be executed when you step on the pedal and hold it. Let's begin by setting up Pedal A to change to Preset 10. If nothing is in Bank B, click Add, then double-click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. The chocolate controller sends PC messages 0 through 127, so the numbers you enter must be one less than the preset you wish to go to. Since we want to go to preset 10, we must enter the number 9. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 1 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Let's repeat the previous procedure for Pedal B. Select Foot Switch B and Check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 26, we must enter the number 25. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 2 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK. Now let's go to Pedal C. Select Foot Switch C and Check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select PC. Since we want to go to preset 54, we must enter the number 53. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 3 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK. Finally, let's program Pedal D. Select Foot Switch D and Check Mode, Step Short or Step Long. Double click the entry and select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. Enter CC number 10 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK to save it. Now go to Bank A and double click the entry. Select your MIDI channel. For MIDI type, select CC. We'll enter CC number 4 in the Data 1 field and a value of 1 in the Data 2 field. Click OK. The last thing we need to do is to set the expression pedal. Select expression pedal and click interface. Double click the entry and enter 11 for data. The loosened value is the value of the pedal when it is fully open. 
Enter 127. The step on value is the value of the pedal when it is fully closed. Enter 0. Click OK. Close the interface and exit the editor. You're now done programming the controller. Let's set up THU. Before we start, we must first go to settings in the THU menu and click audio settings. Scroll active MIDI inputs until you get to USB MIDI. Activate it and close the dialog boxes. Now, if you step and hold pedal A, THU will go to preset 10. Step and hold pedal B and THU will go to preset 26. Step and hold pedal C and THU will go to preset 54. To set up the tuner, right click the tuner and select Learn Global MIDI. Press and hold pedal D. Now, when you step and hold pedal D, the tuner will toggle. To toggle the Tube 9 effect, right click on the pedal and select MIDI Learn. Press and release pedal A. You'll see the MIDI receive message. Now when you step on pedal A, it will toggle the effect on and off. Repeat this process for the Univibe and the Amp Bypass. For the wah pedal, right click on the LED and select MIDI Learn. Step on pedal D. You'll see the MIDI receive message. Next, right click on the pedal surface and select MIDI Learn. Step on the volume pedal until you see the MIDI receive message. Now you will be able to activate and operate the wah pedal. Before we end, if you would like to see more videos like this, hit like, then click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will be notified when new content is released. From all of us at Guitar School Live, we would like to thank you for watching.